is going on guys this is CH with our fourth video I think it's our fourth on HTML and CSS so in the last video we talked about our head and title tags and the importance of having a title name relevant to the web page that we are building well in this video we're gonna be talking about our body tag where all our content is gonna go everything our pictures our links our nav bars blogs footers everything so before we get starting on adding all of that stuff I want to show you guys some common HTML tags so let's go ahead and open up our folder Open up Village Park, and I got a missed call from my mom, and I'm not gonna call her back. Okay, so we're gonna open up HTML with our text name, and we need a browser. So I'll open up Safari, and I'm gonna bring it down a little bit just to give you guys a better visual of what we're doing so we can change things better just on the fly. So here's our text editor, here's our browser. So the first, the first HTML tag I want to show you guys is our paragraph tag, which is this right here, p tags. Now we're not, we haven't jumped into CSS yet, so our our font is not going to change. But I'd make it a good habit of any font or paragraphs or big chunk of text that you do have it in p tags, so it's a lot easier to change with your with your CSS page that we're going to be creating in a couple more videos. So. What did we have before? We had, this is our first page. So we'll go ahead and type it in there. First web page. So again, we haven't set a CSS style to our P tag, but we can still pull it up. And since we haven't set a style, nothing's going to happen. We're just making it a good habit of putting our text in between P tags. So the next tag I want to show you guys is, uh, we'll do bold. We'll do a bold tag. So say you want to do uh you have a whole article or something and you want a couple of those words or a whole sentence to be bold. So bold tags are set with just a B and we gotta close them. We are in HTML. We're actually in XHTML. I was gonna tell you guys that later on in the video, but with the tag structure that we're doing it, we're forget what I just said. We're doing HTML. I'll talk to you about XHTML in the next video. So say we wanted first web page to be bold. Well, go ahead and reload that. You gotta save it first. There it is. First web page is now bold. So okay, and what's another tag I want to do? Maybe italic. Maybe you did not want it in bold and you wanted it in italic. So italic tag is just an I. Go ahead and save it. Control reload, and there it is. First web page is in italic. There's another way to do, there's another HTML tag to get your font to show up in italic, and that's EM. So we got the open tag, and now we're going to close it out. And we'll reload it, and it stays the exact same. I don't know which was around first. I don't care. I use them both. So, yeah, and they both work on every browser. So, yeah, stick with that. So what else do I want to show you guys? Oh, the line break. Okay. So... When writing HTML, you can't just push return or enter to drop down a line or two like you can in email or Microsoft Word. So if we type something out like this is our first web page, I hope you enjoy it. So if we try to take it down to another line, line 12, save it reload it nothing is going to happen because HTML our browser is not smart enough to know what we mean so what we need to do is we'll go back up here and we need to put in a BR tag and with BR tags you only need one you don't need you just you don't really open it or close it I mean you just kinda of leave it like that actually there's two ways to write BR and I'll explain that to you in a second so I'll reload it and there it is we drop down a line. If we want to drop down another line, we just add another BR tag. And another. I'm sure you guys get the idea. So now we drop down three lines of code. So, oh yeah, there's another way you can do a BR tag. So you might be seeing a BR tag look something like that, and that works as well. Perfect. So drop down one line. And BR tags are extremely important because they aren't just an HTML. The more you get involved in 
web design or computer programming, you're going to see BR tags and PHP. You're going to see them in Ruby. You can see them all in JavaScript. You can see them all over the place. So that being said, um, the next video, we will get further into HTML tags and we'll look at um, unordered lists, list items. So stay with me and uh, I look forward to seeing you guys in the next video. All right.